The first fit decreasing algorithm works the same as the first fit algorithm, except with the additional stage that requires us to first reorder the numbers. We put them into decreasing order. When we've done that, we simply proceed through the list as per normal. Now to order those numbers, you could use one of the uh, sorting algorithms, but of course remember to make sure that the numbers are in decreasing order, not the standard increasing order. We then simply work through in the same way. So our first number is this 52, and we're going to place that in the first bin, and it leaves us with a space of 8 remaining in there. Our next one is going to be the 45. It doesn't fit into our first bin now, but it fits into the second bin leaving us a space of 15. The next one is 30. That The first one that that fits into is our third bin, leaving us a space of 30. And we're now at 18. This one doesn't fit into the first bin, doesn't fit into the second one, but it does fit into the third. So we're going to put it in there, which leaves us a space of just 12. 16 doesn't fit into any of these, so that's going to go into our fourth bin leaving us a space of 44 in there. We've done those two. And 14. Now 14 doesn't fit into the first, but it does fit into the second. So we're going to put that in there. That goes into our second bin, leaving us a space of 1. 12 is going to fit into our third bin, filling that one completely. So that one is now empty. No, that one is now full, not empty. Uh, that's our 12 gone in. We then put our 10 in, that's going to go into this fourth bin, leaving us a space of just 34. 9, that's going to fit into the same one, leaving us a space of 25. 9 again, it's going to go into that one, giving us a space of 16. 8, now this one can go into that top bin, don't forget to always look at the first bin, the lowest number, that one is now full. And the 8 can go into this one, leaving us a space of just 8 remaining. And 7 can also go into that last one. And this time, we've only had to use 4 bins. So it has been more efficient at packing the bins by reordering them first. Other than that, though, it's a very straightforward algorithm.